Brody. It's uh, <clears throat> July 7th and uh, just a little bit before 8 o'clock in the morning. About a week ago I posted a video of my first uh, uh, homemade solar oven and uh, you know I saw a lot of videos on YouTube where people were just using tin foil and stuff and making solar ovens and I thought man how easy is that going to be and, and cheap. Well as you can see I ended up uh, I was going to I had a bunch of uh, heat tests that I tried and nothing was working. I've made some uh, improvements. I used some caulk and sealed up all the holes in my in my uh, wood box, painted it black, and uh, I also got some uh, rubber caulking to go around my windows, and I'm going to uh, put this to finish putting this together and we'll give it a try and see how what heat it'll get up to. I'm not sure if I'll cook anything yet today, but I'll get some heat tests going. Okay, I'm just going to do a little recap here. My uh, homemade solar oven. Uh, <laughs> I used scrap lumber and everything, and I thought, man, I'll get this done really, really cheap. Which, it's still cheap. I've only got uh, maybe $20 worth of material wrapped up into it. I do not have any deflectors made yet. Today I think I'm going to use a car shade deflector. I will show that in a little while once I see if I can get some temperature reading. My uh, door, I did not put any latches on. I use, I'm using bungee straps to secure the door and the top glass. And uh, I think it'll be easier to show you the top glass. I think I showed you this, but I, uh, for the inside, I used aluminum duct tape and around both windows I got some uh, weather stripping, uh, rubberized weather stripping. I think it was like seven dollars at Walmart. And uh, the inside is just cardboard with the aluminum duct tape. I was going to use some stuff called Sel Selutex, and it's been several years since I bought some, and it was seventeen dollars a sheet, and it didn't have the reflective on one side uh, like it used to. But anyway, I got my, uh, I'll put, I'll strap that back down, point it to the sun a little bit more. It's about 8.15 to 8.20 in the morning. Uh, I'll move my thermometer where I can read it a little bit better, maybe. But it's, uh, still has, is not registered anything. Well, <laughs> it's not looking anywhere near what I thought it would. Uh, looks are not everything, I understand that. Uh, I'm just not happy with the way it's looking. Um, tried to make it a little bit uh, nicer and dressed up than what it is it's turning out to be, but uh, it's been about only been about 15 minutes, and we're at 150 degrees. I know you can't can't read that thermometer very well, if at all. And I don't want to point but directly into the sunlight, of course, but I'm walking out tonight. Solar oven. And we are at 150 degrees is all. Alright, let me scratch that. It's only been about a half hour. A little over maybe. But we are gaining a little heat. Well, it's 9.45. It's been out here for a little over an hour. Well, it's still only about just a little under 150 degrees or over I mean I well, I must be doing something wrong we're only at 170 it's about uh, 10 30 in the morning this has been out here for a couple hours now uh, we're between 150 and 200 degrees uh, I guess I'm getting disappointed I've got something I must have something wrong I don't know if I need to insulate better. I know I sealed all my windows. I did have one crack. I put a piece of duct tape over that I didn't get cocked. But I'm not uh, feeling the love for this project. Well, I'm really disappointed. 
two hours out here and something's wrong in my design. I can only get it to 160, 170 degrees. So, see what happens the rest of the day before I call it quits on this project. I don't know whether to uh, maybe put some insulation on the inside. It was $17 for a 4 by 8 sheet of the insulation I wanted to do. Uh, I think I might just call this uh, project done and uh, give up on it for a while.